Yo, what's up YouTube? It's TRS, or the real Smokey here. And on your stream, I started a foot draft. Cause I had 29,050 odd coins. So I thought I'd go into a draft. Cause I managed to survive relegation last season. My aim for this is just to go La Liga if possible. And if not, just take the player that's rated the best for the situation. Like here, I could have chose Bale, but I thought your best would be the more suited candidate. So, I've already got my silver out of the way, which is pretty good. But then I get a shitty selection of centre mids. Only one of them links, and that's through the Uruguay connection. But on the left hand side, I get another crap collect. Crap selection. I'm thinking, who should I get out of these? I really wasn't sure who would be potentially able to link into a team. So I go on to reserves and in first selection of reserves, I don't get anyone, so I choose the Portuguese one and I'm like, yeah, I'm picking Ronaldo. Cause I'll use Neymar as a super sub But I'm not doing that yet I'm seeing what midfielders and stuff I can get So I pick Garcia Cause he'll link into a team Well he's got more chance of linking into a team But I don't get much either Not that he's let the team out So my last reserve player and I get a La Liga left back. So I choose La Liga left back. Because I had a feeling that I wasn't going to get a La Liga left back. Definitely not on bloody team. Because in most drafts, the defence is where the team falls apart. Which is quite dreadful, to be honest. And I do see a La Liga centre back, but he's pretty stale. So the other centre back I get, I see two La Liga centre backs, thinking who would fit my style more? Carico or Garay? I choose Garay and then I move on to my right back and all I needed was a Spanish right back so I thought mm, Jav Javan or Bellerin so I choose Bellerin, swap over my two centre defensive mids if I really wanted to I could have put that Portuguese DM in and put Ronaldo on the left so you get a link to the DM and the striker, but I didn't choose that. So I choose Moya of a Sirigu, because Sirigu just means ba bad memories from last year, which was actually woeful. But on the reserves, I get Gully. And in this selection, I get Montoya, Cancio. So I go with Montoya because you can't ignore the jumps that and the fact that it's got shadow card on it because it makes me more pacier if I watch the sign. But I've got Bella in there. And the next selection I get Felipe Luis. There was no choice in the matter. I needed a better left back. So I got one. Draft has been really nice for me. But I put my left back in midfield just to see what chemistry you get up to. So I put Ronaldo on the left wing. And in the next selection, I get Vasquez, who's actually a decent player on this. He's a bit on the slow side, but that doesn't really bother me. He's on 6 chem because of his dead link to Garcia. And the next selection, I get pretty good selection. But 
every time I played that De Bruyne, it's torn me apart. I was thinking De Bruyne could fit in this team. But I look at my options. I move the left back into centre mid because I know people that are watching this will be would have been screaming for me to switch to switch them. I was going to do it. The next selection I get Hernandez, Akadi, Immobile, Bruma, um, Padjake. How is his name? And in the next selection, I only get one choice that I'm going to take and that'll be Jordi Alba I'll put him in midfield because he'll be a lot better if Garcia wasn't there and it was just any La Liga centre mid I'd have put him there I'd have put Felipe Luiz there instead but Jordi Alba actually surprised me when I was playing this draft So I was just looking at the options I could do here. Not many options, there was no way in hell I was replacing anyone in starting team. Because it's a pretty good starting team. So, I just... I was convinced I had to start guessing here. But I can get the rating of this team up. I literally just need a Spanish manager. So I put Neymar on bench for Diaby. Who really gone downhill. I put Cavalio on. I put Hutchinson on. I keep Montoya on bench as a, def as a defensive option. Looking if I could see play him as centre back. Chemistry was going down. That. Uh, I do get lucky and I get a La Liga manager, a Spanish La Liga manager, so it, it is a 186 foot draft, I think what's the highest at the moment is it 187, 186, 188, 188, 187, 186, somewhere around there, but things start off pretty well in the first game, you only see one game of the draft. And I'm 1-0 up in 34 minutes, just short of 35th. Luis Suarez is such a good striker. If I could utilise him a bit better, it, he'd have been more useful. So I like my strikers with, you know, a little bit of pace. Good in air. Good with the feet. And Luis Suarez is more so. And... I get a cheesy goal for my second goal because I wasn't even controlling that player that edited it then. I was controlling Ronaldo which was just behind him and I was certain Ronaldo was offside. So I'm one, it's 2-1. He's breaking down left hand side with Aubameyang plays it to Neymar. Neymar makes it 2 all. And this game went all the way to penalties. I'm not the most confident person on penalties, but you see in the full shoot out, you can see that my first one, his, set, his first one went left. I get lucky with some of them. I do make some good saves. De Bruyne sneaks it in all the way in the bottom corner. It's the most placement penalty I've ever done. And I do save one. If my if I had a really slow keeper, he wouldn't have got up for that second opportunity. So Montoya sets up. Pretty shitty penalty. So I'm free one up. He starts his next. So it's three two. I'm not gonna miss with CR7. So put a bit of power behind it. If you want to know how to turn targeting on, you literally just press up. So if this guy misses it, I win. Pretty nice penalty. Gotta give that to him. But Suarez steps up. Suarez bags it. 
I win. And I do sign it. So if you have enjoyed today's video, please leave it a like. Subscribe if you are new around here. So until next time, peace.